Hello, this is Hui. Welcome to watch my video C++ Programming on Linux. In a couple of preview video, we have we made demonstration how to create a RESTful web service of GET method. In this short video, we are going to demonstrate how to create a POST method of a RESTful web service. REST for web service have few methods, have the get method, post method, put method, patch method, and delete method. So the get method will be used for retrieve the data from the resource of collection, and the, this resource of collection will be put into response body to response back. So it's a query. And uh, for the post method, it's defined as create a member resource in the collection. And using the instruction of the request body, in a short word, is we put the data, record data in the request body, and we create a resource in our collection. So here is the preview videos example. We create a resource and the path resource called player. Part number is one, two, three, four. And we have a get method. Once the get request come in, and where we invoke this get method handler, this uh, function will pass the parameter which pass through the get request and goes to query through our Mongo database. In order to create a post add method, we just add one line in our resource, which is a resource set method handler, which is called a post, which will invoke a function we call the post method handler. And the other things will be same. We create a setting, setting the part number one, two, three, four, default header and uh, we start our setting and uh, so when we started here is the post method handler where this function where we receive parameter is the session which, uh, and uh, from the session we are using the get request method to get the session request other than get method, we are going to get a query of parameter from the header. For the post method, we are going to get the body of the request. In order to get the body of a request, first we have to get the length of the body. So we are using the method, the get header, get the get length, content length, so and the return the integer called the content length. So we create an integer content length equals zero as default, and we use the get header method to get the real content length. This is the length of the body what we request passed by. After we get the length, we're going to use the fetch method, section fetch method. To fetch the request body. So fetch method needs two parameters. First parameter is the integer of the length which we got from the header using the fetch the content length. And then we create a lambda function, pass the session and the body reference, which is the bus byte body reference. So the body string we create a string, the body string, we are getting from the body begin to the body end. So this is the body string. And so in, at this time, we just uh, using the session close method to close the session, which responds back with the body string, which we fetch from the request. and. Uh, 
we just uh, try to verify if we fetch the body string is correct or not correct. So now let's try to build this. Let's go to Linux. So we build it successfully. So now let's run this binary. So now our web service started. So this web service right now not only have a guide and we also has the post web service. So let's go to the other terminal. Let's try to run the guide request first. So this is guide request. What we does? This guide request send the parameter the gender, a male, level, intermediate, and the send the request and the try to return back from my our Mongo database how many player with gender is male, level is intermediate. So let's run this guide request first. So you can see we this service report back to gender, male, level, intermediate. There's the one player called Steven Kubert, and the second gender, male, level, intermediate, and the uh, name is uh, Thomas David Thomasoni. So now let's see what we our post request does. So our post request as a request the body is called Mary Richie female advanced and uh, we print the request first and uh, we print the respond back after so it's a uh, it's print something Some separate so with uh, this script first uh, we print the what we request and after send the request post the request we print the response should be the exactly same request body we reprint the back so let's try to see it's wrong so you can see this is what we send the request and this is the web service post handler fetch the request body and respond back exactly the same. So right now we are able to fetch the body of the request, post the request and the next we are going to parse this string and the, try to insert this uh, string into uh, into the my Mongo database. But uh, in next video, we're going to demonstrate how to parse this uh, JSON string and how to insert this after we parsed JSON string insert it into Mongo database. Hello, this is uh, Hui. Thank you to watch my video. Hopefully this is useful and uh, it's going to be great to have your feedback. Thank you.